This is new at nine. Angry parents speaking out after a last-minute venue change, leaving dozens of students shut out of prom, and they're calling for answers from the school administration. WGN's Courtney Spinelli is at Homewood Flossmoor High School tonight, where parents and students are seeking answers. Courtney. Ray, Dana, some students say they've spent hundreds of dollars, even the passing the thousand mark on dresses, tuxes, hair and makeup, and other prom preparations, but they're without a ticket to tomorrow's prom. Tonight, they gathered here to call on school leaders to step up and make this right. They were set up for failure from the get-go. And, and I am outraged as a taxpayer. I am outraged as a mother that my son is going to miss his senior prom. With less than 24 hours until Homewood Flossmoor's prom, some local activists, selected officials, and parents still calling for a resolution after they say dozens of students are being left out of an event that marks a major milestone for many high schoolers. All kids deserve a prom. Some seniors and juniors left ticket lists after frustrated parents say a last minute venue change left limited space and less tickets for this year's prom. Robert Spearman is just one of those students. I went to purchase one. They said they were sold out. I tried uh, getting in contact with everybody I possibly could. I have a junior here at this school. She opted not to go to the prom because it was a combined prom. She thought she would be taking the place of a senior. Impacted families say it was well before the cutoff date for tickets when they were already sold out. I think it's a it's a major disservice to the parents, to the families uh, that had to save money to get a ticket. Titi Lyo Anoma is a high school senior who was able to get a ticket to the prom. We should still speak up for those that didn't. Um, I find it heavily inappropriate that a venue was booked that couldn't accommodate the entire senior and junior class seeing as though both were invited. I feel disgusted at the fact that seniors weren't prioritized. Local activist Early Walker with the group I'm Telling Don't Shoot saying high school leaders have rejected his offer to provide a second venue for Saturday's prom. I am calling on the school officials, the principal, the superintendent, who I've been in contact with all day, to change their mind, change the narrative, and do the right thing. Walker says he spoke with school officials offering an alternative site equipped with everything, including a food caterer, a DJ, and a photographer after local vendors stepped up, including many already busy with events. We wanted to step up and step in and, you know, take care of the situation. It was very unfair. When I heard it, I jumped right on board, like willing to do whatever I had to do. I just hope and wish that these kids find a way to make the best out of this situation. In a letter sent to parents Friday afternoon, the superintendent saying the district is, quote, committed to making plans for an alternative option. However, planning an event of the caliber our students, quote, deserve in a safe environment can't be done overnight. Officials also saying the event is being planned for next weekend and will be a school sponsored event. They have to be um, essentially pushed to next week on the back burner of events that is distasteful, disgraceful, and it makes me very upset with our administrative process. Here tonight say they are so grateful. They want to make that clear that Walker and other vendors stepped up to make this possible and they want school officials to allow this to happen for tomorrow. But still, they say you can't get back that overall prom experience of taking photos with your friends, being there at the event as it happens. And they say that is something they will never be able to get back no matter what happens. Reporting live tonight in Flossmoor, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. Yeah, a terrible situation for those students. Thank you, Courtney.